Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Yesterday, May 31st, 2023, marked 13 years of living in a body that no longer works. 13 years ago, I broke my neck and became paralyzed and wheelchair bound. I made a post yesterday on my social media, briefly talking about my experience these past 13 years and some of the wisdom that I've learned just from my accident and a lot of the things that have happened post-injury in my life. I got a lot of feedback, a lot of positive responses, and I wanted to actually share that post with you guys today. Here's what I wrote. Today marks 13 years of being paralyzed, 13 years of living in a body that no longer works. That is 4,748 days of waking up every morning and having someone get me showered, dressed, and ready for the day. Breaking my neck robbed me of part of my childhood. It took away my dignity, it took away all of my privacy, and it took away my manhood. My injury made me feel like my life was over before it even started. I was angry a lot in the beginning because it felt unfair and I was frustrated. But I have learned that sometimes things happen in our life that we don't have any control over and there are no answers to those questions. It is unfortunate and heartbreaking, but a part of life. One of the many life lessons I have learned from this injury is that life gets better when you let go and accept the things that are out of our control. When traumatic events like these happen, we have two choices. We can give up, be angry, and take our frustrations out on others and push people away. Or we can accept what happened, focus on moving forward, and create a future for ourselves. I have shared this before, but these are three words I live by. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Sometimes the hard things we go through in life end up making us stronger. It is a hard pill to swallow for some, but in my experience over these past 13 years, suffering produces perseverance. I have gone on to accomplish goals I never thought possible. My injury has given my life purpose and meaning. I am grateful for all of the growth I have acquired over these years. God has given me an amazing life that I wouldn't change. Never give up, persevere. And in the wise words of Nelson Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. So that's what I wrote for my 13 year anniversary post. And like I said, I got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people commented that this was something that they needed to hear in their current season of life that really helped them. And so it made me think about all, all of the, you guys, my viewers, and maybe some of you are going through a hard time right now, whatever that may be. And hopefully something from my post stood out to you. But what I really want to emphasize was the fact that I feel like a lot of, a lot of people, including myself, struggle with trying to put a lot of time, effort, and energy into the things that we can't control. And that causes a lot of anxiety and stress in our life. And it is hard to not be in control. But in my experience, when I let go of those things and stop putting energy into the things I have no control over, my life got a lot better and easier. And it gave me more time to focus on the things that are in my control. Those three words, improvise, adapt, and overcome, are three words that my high school history teacher shared one day in class and I think I don't think it was something that he knew would stick with me and be a life motto eventually this was before I broke my neck and after my injury happened those three words have never left my mind last night I went over to my parents house for a family dinner and every year after my injury instead of viewing that day as a tragic day you know, where I broke my neck and my life was over, at least I thought. Instead, I view it as a celebration, a celebration of my life day. Because the truth is, I could have died that day. I got very close to dying actually, and I thought I was gonna die. Instead, my friend saved me and I'm able to still be here on earth with my family, even though I'm in a body that is no longer works. So 
Every year on May 31st, I celebrate a day of life. I have grown tremendously these past 13 years in so many ways, ways that I know for a fact I never would have grown in had my injury not happened. Last night at the dinner table, my family went around and shared one thing about me that they have really grown to like or appreciate. And two things popped up that I thought were kind of funny. My brother said patience. He has noticed that since my injury, I've become a lot more patient, a lot more of a patient person. Prior to my injury, I had absolutely zero patience. My other brother shared that he really appreciates my level-headedness, which again is really funny because prior to my injury, I had zero patience and I was not level-headed. Those are two areas in my life that I have grown tremendously in that looking back, I am actually really grateful for because having patience, being a patient person and being a level-headed person has actually really benefited me in my life in all of these things that I've gone to accomplish after my injury. I don't want this to be a long video. I just wanted to share some of the wisdom I've learned, some of the accomplishments that I have completed that I know I would have never done if my injury didn't happen. And just share with you that if you're going through a hard time right now, to hang in there, things will get better. And a lot of the times when we look back after overcoming those challenges, we will see areas that we actually grew in. I love the phrase that suffering produces perseverance because I can absolutely relate to that. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all of your support. I couldn't have my channel without all of you guys. Please comment below if anything I said stood out to you. If, any, if you resonated with anything I said, I'd love to read them in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Never give up.